Does your child with special needs have a walker to use at school? Wondering if your child is really using their walker at school? Hi there, it's Nisha from My Favorite Physio. In today's video, I'm jumping in to share with you three key signs that would indicate to us if a child is doing regular walking with their walkers at school or at home. So here at My Favorite Physio, we see lots of little ones with special needs. Some of our little ones have customized standards and walkers like this one at school to use. Unfortunately, we do hear from parents the question of, I'm not sure if my child's even getting any walking practice at school because parents aren't allowed to enter schools to have a look at their child during the school hours. So I thought I would jump in and share with you three key signs that will indicate to us if a child is doing regular walking with their walker, whether at school or at home. So the first sign is you would expect that a child maintains their level of function if they're regularly walking on their walkers. So if a child was able to tolerate walking for 10 meters, that's what they should at least be maintaining if they're doing regular walking with their walkers. Now, if you find that your child is getting more tired and struggling to even stand at home, then it could be that they're not getting enough practice walking at school with their walkers. The second key sign that tells us whether or not a child is using a walker regularly is if we find that a child is getting contractures, meaning that their muscles are getting short and they're losing range in their knees and hip and ankle. So if a child is regularly walking, they shouldn't be losing range in their hips, becoming chair-shaped because it indicates to us if they're becoming chair-shaped, they're likely to be in their wheelchair for a lot of a day and not enough time on their walkers. Conversely, if a child is walking regularly, you'll find that their ankles, hips, and knee range of motion stays flexible and pliable, and so they're still able to move quite easily, straightening and bending their foot and ankle and hips appropriately to take steps. The last sign, the third sign for how do we tell if a child's not been walking on their walker, is you'll find that there's actually no progression in their functional skills and their cardiovascular fitness. So for a child who has been walking on their walkers regularly, you would think that if they practice daily, they can go from 10 meters of walking to 15 or to 20. You'll find that they have more cardiovascular fitness, they're fitter because they're on their feet and exercising and walking more. If you find that your child is actually getting more tired easily or they're getting very fatigued quickly or they're not even able to maintain the standard of walking 10 meters like they did before, then there is a question of whether they're actually getting enough walking practice in their walkers at school. So if you are concerned about your little one and you would love for your child to be assessed and perhaps have some input to your school about how to use the walker to ensure that they have got a good walking program for your child, why don't you ring us here at My Favorite Physio, speak to one of our expert pediatric physiotherapists. The number to ring is 02-9790-4233. And if you know somebody out there with a child with special needs who has a walker at school, but they're not sure if they're using it or not, why don't you like and share this video with them. Until next time, have a fabulous day. Bye.